good afternoon to all my absolutely fantastic friends welcome back to the channel thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for today's tabletop gear overview so on today's video guys we are checking out a ultra packable very portable flat pack fire pit from fennec now i'm going to be very truthful with you guys and admit that i was not familiar with the brand fennec right up until this turned up on my doorstep but the German company Fennec specializes in all things stoves, grills and fire pits. And a funny thing as well, they even make a food vendor trolley with sound and lights, which I found quite funny. <laughs> this does look to be one of the most popular pieces of gear in their range, going off customer reviews. And they do make and supply a large range of optional extras for this particular fire pit here. So they may be worth looking at in the future. So let's get it open and take a look at what we get when we purchase this fire pit. So straight off the bat, first of all, I do love the case, the carry case it comes in. You do get a nice Hessian or jute twine sack. Um, you can see the Fennec Fox emblem on the front here and their branding made in Germany. So again, a fantastic piece of German um, engineering lies within this sack. So at the top, we do have a Velcro enclosure, keeping everything nice and secure inside. And first of all, we have a couple of brochures and quick start guides. So, the thing I like about this brochure is one side is German, and when you flip it over, the other side is English. So, let's find the English. There we go. So, this is the stove, the fire pit we're looking at today. Uh, we have a few small um, images there, and the actual built stove. This is the stand you can actually purchase to rest the stove on for a bit more height. And then we have some nice, colourful, glossy pictures of other equipment and gear in their range. This one might be familiar to you. Um, this one did its rounds on Instagram um, last year, year before. It's the stainless steel mesh net on the uh, tripod system. You, you have your fire on the top of that. That looks like a good piece of gear. We've got some nice stoves. All good stuff. Included in the pack is a glossy quick start guide and this just gives you a very simple diagram of how the pieces go together. Very simple engineering, but um, hopefully very effective. We also receive a nice Fennec sticker that will go on one of my bottles. And another, probably more in depth, look at the stove. So a couple of brochures in the pack and then we pull out the main stove which is again nicely packed padded cardboard let's get it open now the one particular gripe that stood out on the stove and in two comments was that the company had actually sent the buyer a second-hand stove which obviously is not good news so fingers crossed we have a brand new unit in this packaging So we have the base plate. So this flat pack fire pit comprises of seven elements. We have um, six main side components like this, all brushed stainless steel, 1.5 mil in diameter, thickness should I say. And then we have the seventh, which um, sits in the bottom of the hexagon when the ring is built. And we have a full diameter of 60 centimeters with this stove when it's fully built. Nice to see that each piece is actually sandwiched between a piece of cardboard. That will stop scratches and marring. And I'm just stacking them all on top of each other now. This is the main piece that we actually build the stove around. You can see the Fennec um, emblem just at the top here. So I believe that is the first one we start with. And I've just found another one, so your guess is as good as mine. We'll give it a go. <laughs> and another one. All right. Right, ladies and gents. So we do have the specifications for the assembled and disassembled fire pit. So disassembled, the product dimensions come in at 12 by 13 by 9.76 by 0 0.94. And that will be the dimensions of each individual plate. Again, these feel very premium quality and they are constructed from 1.5 mil stainless steel. And they have a slight brushed um, effect on there as well. Right guys, so as it goes, we actually use a plate with the emblem and a plate without the emblem. 
like so. And it should be a very simple affair of assembly. Basically just piecing the bits together like so. And um, then we'll drop the centre piece in. I will do this um, best I can on the screen, though we may not get it all in. But I must say I am quite impressed at the minute with the overall quality of this um, fire pit. And I think something like this is more aimed towards like an event, a music event, um, maybe a, a van life enthusiast, um, things like that. Definitely not suitable for hiking given the weight. This comes in at a total weight of four kilo. So it is a very, very heavy piece of equipment. This last piece should be fun. Um, this was the second gripe of how fiddly it is to put together, this last piece. So, um, I'm gonna try and swing this round to the camera so we can get this last piece in. But the overall build quality of these pieces, there's no sharp edges. Um, everything's been rounded off quite nice actually. So, um, right, we can get that one in and this is where I think things are going to be oh no oh look at that first time there we go guys I'll try and get that on best I can for yourselves and then we've got the centre piece we have two uh, finger holes there just so we can find and locate the and there we go. Right guys, so I've risen the camera as high as it will go just to try and give you the scale of the size of this fire pit. So, as you can see, we do have a very generous size fireball there. Um, we have a diameter of 60 centimeters across, so you'll get some decent sized logs in there. We also have some very um, cleverly implemented air holes around the middle of the plates. When the plates connect together, it does actually um, leave small gaps for the air to penetrate through. Um, again, we have the air holes on the bottom and we have the two finger holes on the base plate allowing again for the drawer of air up through the coals. So very nice. So the overall build quality and construction of the fire pit does look like a, a very premium piece of gear and it does have a, a very modern look to it as well. It feels quite robust when you pick it up assembled. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart on you and that should definitely do its intended job. I would say though, uh, when this fire pit does get up to um, temperature, I think that is going to burn whatever is around and beneath the fire pit. So probably not best used in grass, maybe on bare earth or build a stand, rocks or something like that. So one of the nicest features of this fire pit is just how flat this packs away. You can see there, all plates together, disassembled, coming at nine millimeters or around a quarter of an inch. This can easily be stored in a car, under a carpet, behind a seat, pretty much anywhere until you bring it out for use and even with the included base plate again very easily packable takes up no room at all although it is a bloody hefty the whole fire pit packs away easily and slips nicely back into its sack base plate included and if you choose to keep all the documentation, that goes in there as well. Nice thing with this as well, you have some emergency fuel to burn if you are short. I will say if you are a van life enthusiast or you frequent music festivals and events on regular occasions, or maybe you just want a stylish looking fire pit for your back garden to have drinks and conversation over them flickering flames, then this fire pit from Fennec might be right up your street. These retail for £65 or $81 on Amazon. I will leave a link in the description. The next video on the channel, guys, will be getting the Fennec Fire Pit out into the field and getting a burn in there to test it outdoors. That does mean I will be hiking with this for a couple of miles, so I can also give you an update on the uh, portability when hiking as well. If you enjoyed today's content, guys, please leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any content like this in the future. But that's it guys, until the next one you stay safe and as always, stay crafty. See you again guys, bye bye.